EA Sports FIFA 20 sponsors Saturday Social. This is FIFA Versus in partnership with EA Sports FIFA 20. Today we're still in lockdown, but I am happy to say I'm joined by Ryan Bertrand. Ryan, how are you, mate? How's the family? I'm good, thank you. Uh, family's safe and sound. Uh, it was a tough time for the whole world and the country, so but we're okay now, so thank you. Good to hear. Right, I'm going to be quizzing you on your Southampton teammates' FIFA stats. Cool. Let's jump straight in. Who do you think has the highest overall rating in the Southampton squad according to FIFA 20? Hmm. I'd go for Danny Ings. It's actually not Danny Ings. Danny Ings comes in fourth, 76 overall. 76 so, Ings, is he? 76. <laughs> do you think it should be a bit higher than that? Ah, uh, yeah. Pete, I'll see you lot. Whoever's back there needs to, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're still, uh, they ain't watching real football. It's beautiful. So he's 76, you're 78, but there is one player who is rated at 79 in the Southampton squad. Who do you think it is? No idea. Cool. It's James Ward Prowse, actually. He's got to use it with the free kicks and stuff, isn't he? He's like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It is the free kicks that have got him there. He's actually rated on FIFA 20 as the best free kick taker in the entire Premier League. What do you make of that? Nah, that's fair. To be honest, he was practicing today again. And, uh, it's non-stop and you just you just know the times that uh, when he gets the opportunity something's going to happen. You've obviously also played with some other unbelievable free kick takers, you know, Frank Lampard, Didier Drogba, I think Gilfie Sigurdsson too at Reading as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where does he compare to some of these names? Yeah, I mean, some fantastic free kick takers all with you know amazing techniques and stuff. Uh, Gilfie, yeah, he was at Reading, I got to see that before, before anyone else did. and. Uh, it was amazing, obviously, with drug bar lamps, one matter. Louise's uh, free kick, he didn't score too bad on at that World Cup. <laughs> Went back. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but I say, yeah, but Prowse's one is, is possibly the most consistent, I think. The technique that yeah, he chooses to use is very, very, very consistent. He's got a very similar technique to sort of David Beckham, hasn't he? Do you think that's something he worked on? Does he work on every day in training, that sort of really whip technique? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely an uh, emphasis on the whip. I'm not sure how long his hip's going to last, but <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> definitely very effective with it. So we've got James Ward Prowse, the best free kick taker in the entire league representing Southampton. But there's another player who's the best at something in the league. Southampton have the highest jumper in the Premier League, according to FIFA 20. Yeah. So who do you think uh, in the Southampton yeah. squad has the highest jumping yeah. stat? A little bit higher than me, just. But um, <laughs> let's say Longy. <laughs> Longy must have it. It is Shane Long. Where does that yeah, come from? Is he just an unbelievable leap? And he's got these, yeah, he's, he's uh, plyometrics uh, through the roof. I think he's uh, so springy even when he walks and runs around, you know, so fast. And he, uh, yeah, he's still, he's still got it. So when you're playing against him, obviously you're a defender, he's a forward in, in training. Is he a nightmare when the ball's in the air? Is he just out jumping the likes of Vestergaard? Who are like a foot yeah, taller than definitely. Him? Yeah, it all comes down to timing, you know, his experience, he knows he knows to get the right time and he's got these fantastic attributes within his body naturally anyway, so all of that sort of comes together at the right moments to, to give defenders quite a bad day. Yeah, I mean, just to put that into perspective, Cristiano Ronaldo has 95 jumping, he's got 93, so yeah, <laughs> it's pretty it's, close it's between the going. two. It's not a bad going. Right, there are a few very, very quick players in the Southampton squad. This is one that everybody wants. Who do you think FIFA 20 have down as the quickest player in the Southampton squad? Probably Redders. No, it's yeah. not actually. Redders, like... It's not. No, no. He's is it Longy third again? place, Nathan Redmond. It's not Shane Where am I Long. actually? Scrap that. Where am I? <laughs> you're quite a way off. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you're you're a, a long joke. way off. Yo. <laughs> you're 12 rankings off the first place. You. You're, you've got 76 <sighs> pace. Go. I'm going to the head office. <laughs> the first place has 88 pace in the squad. Who do you Who's think that? that is? It's, it's not Redders, Gineppo. Moose. Yeah. Ah, see, he's, a, he's lightweight. He can dance around and great agility, but raw speed. Nah, is what it is. So if you're lining up a 100 meter race, you've got you, you've got I'm up Redmond, I'm up Longy. <laughs> Were you backing yourself against Gineppo as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was worried about Longy. I'll tell you, number two is actually Che Adams. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah Shay, no, to be fair, everyone's quick. We have a very quick uh, 
We're great athletes in our team, to be honest. You're 12 behind Gineppo then. I'm guessing you think you should be higher than 76 pace. I should be high 80s, 100%. Right, I guess for the one nobody wants then, the slowest player at the club. Who do you think? Yeah, as long as I ain't there, I tell you. <laughs> one of the goalies, that's the beat. If someone's slower not. than one of the goalies. <laughs> it is. It is. He's one of the defenders, put it that way. God. Yannick Vestergaard. No. No, it's definitely <laughs> you need to figure out the, uh, or FIFA need to figure out the, um, the judging, the judging panel. Yannick Vestergaard has just 34 pace. 34? 34. 34, so that's less than half your speed, Ryan. Yannick's, like I said, we have good speed. We have good per position for the positions. Like, we don't really have slow players on average, like, per position. Everyone's in the right high percentages for, for example, fullbacks or centre midfielders, strikers, wingers, centre backs. So, yeah, that surprises me. Right then, let's move on to a little head-to-head. -head. I want to know which player you think has the better shooting. Danny Ings or the jumping yeah. sensation Shane Long? Ings it. It is Danny Ings, but only just. Danny yeah. Ings' shooting is just okay. 74. Long is 72. What's mine? What's mine? Your shooting is 53. Joke. Yes, yeah, joke. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so quite a long way off Danny Ings. Do you think he should maybe have higher shooting than that though? Just 74? feels like after the season he's at, he should be high 80s. Yeah, no, definitely. Ings' is finishing is oh, high 80s. Yeah, definitely. At least low 90s. His finishing's a joke. So, obviously, he's had a fantastic season. Do you think if, if we had have had the Euros in, in 2020, do you think he, he would have gone on the plane for you if you were England manager? For sure. Prolificness and to be scoring. And you have to, I think, when it comes to selecting the team, sometimes you need to quantify how efficient he would be perhaps if where you know we our season was we done fantastically to turn it around um you know but we was in that battle at that stage and we was you know trying to pull away from the bottom due to you know previous results weren't going our way and stuff and so for him to consistently produce them goals in that kind of environment imagine what he would do it in one of the bigger teams so I think it's just common knowledge to apply that to when your selection process. Right, let's go back to some of the FIFA stats then. Which Southampton player has the best dribbling stat in the team according to FIFA 20? So? It is Sofiane Buffal, 86. Yeah. Ten, 10 dribbling ahead of you, I have to say, Ryan. What do you it? make of that? I'm right there. Eh? Not too if I'm not, not far behind him. We have some very good dribblers, I think people important in the team, some people that can carry the ball you know, to have a good balance in teams and we've got some fantastic ones in there. Everyone can do it to a great level and then we've got possibly Redders, uh, Musa and um, Soph that can uh, probably excel in these, these avenues. Who, who do you think is the hardest winger you've ever had to come up against as a fullback in your footballing career? Uh, B. Hazard. Really? It'd be Hazard. What, what, uh, what made him so special? His dribbling's probably 99. <laughs> he's, uh, he's got a low center of low center of gravity, which means it's hard to like get to the get physical with them. Um, but he's strong with that as well. He's got a strong base, and he uh, and he's very clinical. All right, final question then for you. Yeah. Who do you think has the better crossing, yourself or Nathan Redmond? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go me. I'd give him shooting, obviously. I've got the crossing. Please tell me that. <laughs> well, I can tell you, you have got the crossing. 80 crossing. Uh, Redmond's is 74. So, you happy with 80 crossing? crossing? That's pretty see. decent. Yeah, <laughs> as long as he's higher than me in the finishing, he can tap him in. Yeah, and obviously we've seen you play left back, but we've also seen you, I remember in the Champions League final, you played left wing. Mm -hmm. Were you put out there because of that crossing ability, that sort of attacking intent? Yeah, it's more, it's more the defensive side, I think, looking at that game. But obviously, you have to have the attributes. You can't just play a defender there. You have to have some, obviously, half-decent attributes to uh, play in that kind yeah. of game. So, yeah, it was definitely uh, something they saw, you know, and uh, thankfully that night it went well. There we go then. Thanks very much, Ryan. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much for joining us. No problem. So that was FIFA versus in partnership with EA Sports FIFA 20.